What is up guys, Vexinate doing a quick little tutorial showing you how to do motion tracking in Sony Vegas Pro 13. So I know there is a lot of tutorials out there for this already, but most of them are with the motion tracking, it's just the text panning across the screen, which is a lot easier. I'm going to show you something a bit more complicated than that, which looks like this. Now I just did this quickly, you can spend a lot more time on it, make it look a lot more polished and make it really perfect. But as you can see, it's actually changing angles and you actually have to change the text, size of the text a bit rather than just panning across the screen. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this in this quick little tutorial. So the first thing you need is to find a cinematic. So I've got these downloaded. Um, you can find a lot of them on the internet for free. So I'll put some links to some in the description below, but they're really easy to find. So I'm going to use this one. Now you're going to want to pick one with some sort of reference point. Just delete this audio track, by the way. So if I go over here, because when you edit this, you do it, it's not like editing in Cinema 4D or 3D rendering programs, there is no actual plane to edit on, so you have to have some sort of reference point on the video itself. So I'm going to use these squares and make it the width of these squares, and as you can see on mine one that I did earlier, I did it from this top corner and the, ed the, the edge of the top the um, edge of the window frame and up in this top little corner. So if you uh, do you need to find one that does has that sort of thing like that. Some won't and it's just too difficult really so I definitely recommend getting something like that. So I'm just going to trim mine so right, trim start and find uh, over here. I'm not going to make this a really long one just because I don't want to make this tutorial too long. So trim end zoom in a bit and then the next thing you want to do is right click and create a new video track now go over to media generators and put some legacy bring in legacy text it must be legacy text not just uh, text uh, it will not work properly so make sure it is legacy text then you can just pick whatever font you want uh, this one and I'll just make mine say text Oh god, that is an ugly font. Uh, whoops. And then once you've done that, you don't have to do this, but I recommend doing this. And putting in a little white drop shadow and making this to zero and zero. And that just gives it a bit of a blurred um, outline. You don't have to do this, I just like doing it, I think it looks a lot nicer, but it is really your choice. And then trim the end of the text, and go back to the first frame, go back to like the very first frame, and this is where you're going to pick where you want your text to sit. So like I said, I'm going to do mine on that little wall there. So click on the compos compositing mode and click 3D source alpha, you must click this or it will not work. You'll notice it goes from a little A symbol to 3D. Then you're going to click over on the track motion button. And this is where you will actually edit where your text sits. So, like I said earlier, you will need some sort of reference point on the video because there is no plane here and there is no, it's just white, there's nothingness, so there's no real way to judge where the text is sitting. Also, make sure this button is ticked, the sync cursor button. I did not have this sync uh, ticked for a long while and it made everything a lot harder. So make sure it is. Uh, just, yeah, really make sure it is. So... What I'm going to do is just you use this to move around and I'm going to make mine match the top edge of these little squares and then you can drag this corner to make it smaller and then you do use this X to adjust it like that and Y to adjust it like that. So pretty straightforward, um, just pick where you want it to go. Now this will take you a bit longer, I'm just going to rush it, it probably won't look that good in the end. Obviously, if you spend a lot more time on it and just spent basically yeah, spend a lot more time on it and get it to look really perfect, so I'm going to get it to touch the top corner of this door and a bit smaller. See, so yeah, like I said, make having a good like reference point of where you want it to sit. It really helps. Just makes everything a lot easier. So I'm going to make mine just like this, touching the top corner of the door and then touching the edge of the wall. And that'll just make everything a lot easier. Then you can do this and, whoops. You can then do this to get it to look, uh, sit right on the building. 
Now, after you've gotten that to somewhere where you're happy, I've just done that really quickly, just click the X and then go over to the very end of the video. And just hit left on your keyboard to go one frame to the left. And this is where you'll edit now. Obviously there's a tree here and that makes everything a little more difficult. So I'm gonna to go to a point where there is no tree covering where my text, where I want it to sit and trim end. You can do other things to, you can mask the tree, but I'm not gonna go into that now as it takes a while. So go over to the very end and hit left on your keyboard to go one frame before the end. Then click back on the track motion button and then edit it some more to make it look right. So just like that. Now you'll notice if I play this back, it is not actually, it will track to a certain extent, but it won't look right. So you want to do that same uh, method of putting different, uh, putting more uh, keyframes all the way along. So I reckon going end, uh, either end, and then I go in the middle, and then I do one in between there and one in between here. So I'm going to do that now, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I have just spent a bit of time. I have one point on either end, one in the middle, and one in between those two at the quarter points. So you can do obviously a lot more. I reckon having at least one in each interval. So that's another four at least. You can do way more than that to make it look perfect, but that minimum that's how many. I've just done this quickly. So if we press play now, you can see it looks all right. I've just done it pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, it looks all right. Uh, text tracks pretty well and that's pretty much it there's not much else like I said when you get to this little tree bit you can mask the tree um, I will do a masking tutorial in future if you'd like that so leave a comment if you want to see that but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this and then when, when you're rendering if we click render as um, make sure that it is uh, 60 frames per second it'll just look a lot better but you can do 30 frames per second, but 60 frames per second will look a lot better. So I definitely recommend that. Do it whenever doing motion tracking or montages or things like that. Render this now. So as you can see, it doesn't look anywhere near as smooth when you play it back, which is kind of unfortunate. But like I said, in the preview, it looked okay. It can obviously notice some wobbling in the this. But like I said, you just have to spend a lot more time on it and you'll end up looking a lot better. So that's just a really basic way to do it. So if you got, this has helped you guys, so remember to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed. Any other suggestions for other videos, for like Sony Vegas tutorials, Photoshop tutorials, anything like that, please put that in the comments below, that'd be really appreciated. So like, comment, subscribe, and see you next one. Bye.